Hey everyone, and welcome to another paint pouring video. In today's video, I am doing another white negative space pour um, with my open uh, funnel bottle thing. And I went back to uh, my blues and my teals, and I used uh, the magenta as an accent color. This painting fought me like every step of the way. Um, I hadn't had a lot of sleep uh, the night before I did this painting. Um, my cat decided to sing the song of his people starting at four o'clock in the morning and I never really got back to sleep again. Uh, so I think that that really contributed to the overall result of this painting. Uh, yes, I am blaming my cat. Uh, so anyways, um, I was zombie-like. I decided that uh, it would be a good idea to fill in the little troughs of paint that I created by dragging the bottle through it uh, with some teal paint. Um, I didn't have any silicone in that teal paint, and boy, did I regret that decision. Um, those two stripes ended up being uh, the bane of my existence for... Uh, the duration of this painting. Um, I basically spent the entire painting just messing around with those two stripes. I just couldn't get them to look right. Um, I tried dragging stuff through them, I tried making them into swipes. Um, just it really wasn't working out. So I am never doing that again. Um, I brought out my thread and started uh, dragging some uh, wispy accents through everything, which looked cool. I mean, this thread thing uh, really works out well all the time, and uh, I got some pretty interesting accents on it, but uh, it still didn't really help with uh, those uh, teal stripes. So I spent a whole bunch of time with the thread, uh, trying to make it look like those stripes should be there. And then I uh, stepped back and took a look at that bottom right corner, and I decided that that green splotch uh, really wasn't doing it for me either. So I decided that I would swipe it off and just fill it with white. And I'm really glad that I did that because uh, that kind of uh, brought back uh, balance to this painting. And I was able to um, and make that uh, deletion look pretty natural uh, using the thread. And I think I even brought out a popsicle stick. Oh, yep, there we go. To just kind of make it look like uh, the painting. It was supposed to be there. Uh, I still wasn't happy with those stripes, so I just I kept on messing around with it. And I think that the more that I messed around with it, uh, the worse it got. Um, I tried putting white on top of it and swiping it, and then I realized that it wasn't really going to do much because there wasn't any silicone in that teal or in the white. So I put some purple paint in, which had the silicone in it, and tried to swipe it again. And I made those horrid uh, lines go right off the canvas, which I instantly regretted. I mean, it just, it made the painting look awful, I thought. So I brought out my little baby flip cups and I tried uh, adding more paint because obviously that's gonna help. Um, I was just trying to regain it. all the cells around it are really like uh, crisp and defined and then yeah, I had all these like two awful messy swipes in the middle so I was just trying to kind of bring the painting back together again uh, but as you can see it really didn't work out so off camera I ended up uh, swiping those two little spots off the top of it um, I'll show you in the close-up here. I think overall, um, I ended up pretty happy with this painting. Um, I mean, obviously those two stripes are a pain, but I made them look okay in the end. 
and uh, almost natural, one would say. Anyways, I hope you liked watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.